Hello everyone, Princess Navarre here, and today we're at Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House, my okay. favorite hotel of them all. And why are we at Jumbo House today? We are going to Boma, the last of all of the restaurants that we've reviewed in all of Animal Kingdom Lodge, and we'll have links for all of those in the description box down below. We're gonna go and uh, nom on this bar, so we'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You're the girl. Spinach and quinoa salad will be okay. The cauliflower salad in the back will be okay. The roasted eggplant, you can do it without the cheese if you like. And the cocktail sauce will be okay. Pretty straightforward salad setup. But we do have a mango vinaigrette. Okay. Stay with that. <laughs> For fruits, pretty self-explanatory. No contact here of any mango, so we're okay with that. For the breads, the two hummuses are vegan friendly. The dinner roll is vegan friendly, and the pita bread is vegan friendly. For dessert, for vegan friendly, we do have our coconut mango for dessert. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I'm gonna start with an asparagus in oil. It's pretty alright. Nothing special about it. So I'll tell you one thing about the Princess Vegan plates is they're extremely colorful. Straight asparagus. Burn amount of crunch. A little cold, but we did get like the bottom of the last pan. Asparagus, three out of five plus. We have like a little tomato we guy. It's really good. Really sweet. I like that. And this uh, tomato stew is um, a little spice to it. It's not average. I'd give that a three out of five plus. Then I got some pasta instead of like sauce. I just got like peas and corn. And those two together are pretty good. I would definitely eat that. Pasta and peas, which kind of offends me in some sort of way. Just pasta and peas and no sauce. It tastes like cooked pastas and peas. Does it remind you of 50s prime time? It's better than the prime time. I did not like 50s prime time. 
I'll have a better slop in a high school kitchen. Then we have like this little special cabbagey thing. Yeah. Very flavorful. <laughs> Lots of spices in there. It's got like a tinge of heat to it. It's really good. I need to get more of that. And then a basmati. Which is very fragrant. And what you would expect from a basmati rice. Very good. So this uh, basmati rice. A whole lot of me in my mouth. Let's two out of five. Ooh. This is like my favorite thing here. Put some rice in this. Yes. This is the winner. Lots of flavors going on here. You got chickpeas, lentils, subtle hint of tomato, some garam masala. It sounds, tastes like. Celery. Very good. Yes. Good at Mongol line. Give me this back. I'm gonna give this a new home. Say bye to the princess. She doesn't need this. It's good. It's a little on the gritty side. The four lentil stew is better than anything I've ever made. They have four out of five plus. Overall, it's not a bad plate. There's lots of options. This isn't all the vegan stuff yet. I actually got some of the rice with this cornmeal. It's stuck there, so I'm gonna let it happen. formula I kind of like actually. Yeah. The, a little bit of seasoning, that could be almost a better side than mashed potatoes. The rest of the raisins I like. But not as much as the formula. I'm going to give the formula three and a half out of five. I'm going to give the rice a three out of five. It sort of reminds me of like a, um, a sweet potato pie puree. It's like right before you put it in a pie crust. Let's dig into this uh, prime rib they have over there. It's probably the only beef I eat today. Gross. This America is America. Cut. It's cooked medium rare like it's supposed to be, but there's like no flavor seasoning to it. I got some collard greens. Some nice little spice to it. Tiny little kick. Well cooked tomatoes in there, a nice touch. Collard greens, almost three and a half out of five. Close to how grandma used to make, but not quite. This is itty bitty chicken leg. Mm. Man, that's definitely beating out that hunk of beef. This chicken is so well seasoned in here throughout. I'm gonna need a lot more of those tonight, over. Well, I came back with a second plate of real bear should and. I came back with some interesting salads, like a... It's supposed to be like chicken with like a tamarind, but I don't really taste any of that. As far as salads go, it's like lettuce. Wait, chicken in the water. It's a one out of five loss. And I got this... curried tomato. like warm salsa. We got some couscous just for the princess because she didn't have any. It's perfectly cooked.
Cook, 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 Cook. I like this. I'm gonna give this a three out of five plus. Well, this is some weird dish that was over by the meat station. It's like meat and egg casserole, basically. It's interesting, but it works because the meat is sort of like on the sweet side and the savoriness of the egg sort of cuts into that. They've actually, that's not horrible. I couldn't eat a lot of this, but it's pretty good, actually. I couldn't resist cornbread, like ever. This cornbread was the perfect balance of like, bready wetness. This and this chicken could literally put me to sleep. Five out of five claws from the cornbread. I just hummus my pita with some coriander hummus. Mm. It's not just coriander in your face, it's actually really good. It's got a lot of flavors. I like this. I like the array of hummus. So you see this is a coriander hummus? I'm kind of afraid of this because too much coriander can like ruin something. I got to say, it's pretty good. It almost takes on a. It's like a garlicky spread almost, but. It's coriander, hummus. It's pretty good. I like this one, four out of five plus. And then this one's a red pepper hummus. Oh my god. It tastes like a stereotypical red pepper hummus, except it's just slightly sweeter. Both hummuses I really like a lot. And I would come here just to eat hummus. Is that good? I mean, it tastes like roasted red pepper, but it's it's about as special as Vicky's Secret. Two out of five plus. And then I got these rolls. They're vegan. I mean, I thought they taste good in this like lentil soup. It enhances and balances the lentil soup. Probably not as good as white rice would, but still delicious. Roll soft enough where it won't kill me. Let's do a princess dip. But it's good, but I feel like that lentil soup is gonna go with basically everything. Mm. Three and a half out of five plus. I think my favorite thing today is the hummus. Oh, I decided to get a stew. I got oxtail stew with rice. It looked very hearty up there. So I had to like, feel like a small stew. Oh, we do need more chicken. I don't know how I feel about that. It tastes like a, a liquid pot roast. Which I guess it makes sense for oxtail. It's got a weird consistency though. Two and a half out of five plus. Like the, the first piece of like meat I got was like mostly fat. Oh. It was really slimy going down. So something like weird textures like that was like that's it's like swallowing a snot loogie or something. It just Ew. doesn't So I went back because I feel like I wasn't doing the meat justice. I got chicken. I got beef. The shoulder that I missed the first time. It's pretty smoky and tasty. Better than the beef, but not as good as the chicken. Three out of five plus. Hello, everybody. Princess the Bear here, and we just finished it. I'm full. Super full. 
so many meats and veggies and vegan stuff. The vegan stuff actually better than most of the stuff that I had. Only the chicken really amazed me and the cornbread. What I think is funny is that none of the desserts were vegan except for the coconut mango tart, which is the only thing that was I a dessert have. that he could eat. Typical. So we skipped that on the dessert. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't really like dessert that much anyway. Yeah. But overall, what'd you rate Bowman? Um, probably not my go-to buffet. It's, uh, it's cheaper than your normal character dining, so that's a good I like thing. That. But I prefer beer garden if I'm gonna pick a non-character dining buffet. Beer garden had better beer. Beer garden was just good overall. I think. I mean, that felt smaller from my now. perspective. I think just the way it was it was laid out, I think it's about the same size. Yeah, Beer Garden is entertainment. Yeah. Well, they have drums here, but they have drums at every restaurant at Animal Kingdom Lodge, basically. I'd come here again. I would too. It is a vegan paradise compared to most places. Oma and Tusker House, that's your vegan go-to buffet. Yep. So, until next time. Be sure to subscribe. Let us know what you think about this place or any other buffet we said next, and we'll see you soon. So we're trying out new beer tonight. I got a Castle Lager. Um, it's beer night, so we're trying something different. It's crisp, but at the end it just feels like a very weak Bud Light. And then Tusker Lager, which is the one you can get all across Animal Kingdom. I feel it has a lot more body than that one does. This I can do. I give the Tusker three and a half out of five plus. Give the Castle two and a half out of five plus. Castle Lager, vegan beer. That's way too hoppy for me. Uh, hard pass on that one. But the Tusker? The Tusker all day long. It's like number two to my Victory Golden Monkey, which is my go-to drink at Animal Kingdom. Number two is Tusker Lager. You can get it at Tusker House, also at Animal Kingdom.